Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Creative Minds, Heaven Made Gain. It's your girl, the Creative Mind of Brie. Back with another banger. So today is Real Talk Thursday. And today is Thanksgiving. So happy Thanksgiving to everybody. For me, Thanksgiving is um, giving thanks to God and with your family. And also, you know, creating those memories. And also... Um, reminiscing on memories and also just, you know, spending family time and also putting God inside it also. So just getting back in the house. I just went to my mother's house. I was going to go out. I'm kid free. I was going to go out tonight, but I was just like, you know what? Let me just, um, really I ain't got nowhere to go. Y'all. I don't have nowhere to go. <laughs> I just be doing stuff like working on myself lately and doing things that you know evolve that so I just been in the in the um house oh and I also got y'all you know, see me different with my hair like this so just decided to put this on but back to the subject yeah I'm kids free so I was just like let me do my real talk Thursday because that did come to mind I did not do my went workout Wednesday and it's only because I have other things planned um, that I want. I just don't want to put anything out. And I feel like I, that's what I've been doing. So I just want to do it the right way. But I want to really talk to you guys about um, gratitude and being thankful. And once when you be grateful, when you're grateful and you have gratitude for things, things start to happen. It can be the littlest thing that somebody does for you it can be the littlest thing that God has done for you, um, giving you life. Sometimes we are so caught up in everything else around us, but we don't focus on the main thing that we have life, that we have breath, that we have health, that we have hands that we can do certain things. We have a mind to come up with ideas. It's on us to do those things and also have a mouth to talk and be able to tell things to to come about manifesting our life because everything is already here. So today I just want to talk about being grateful, that it's a good thing to be grateful, to have gratitude, especially waking up every morning. Um, some people wait till Thanksgiving, um, but it's good to do it every morning. If you have a practice of being grateful, a practice of having gratitude every morning, every night, whenever, you will start to see a lot of stuff happen in your life. That's just like if you did something, so much stuff for people and they never said thank you until just one day. But if you always, if they, if you are always doing something for them every day and, and it's a, um, just giving somebody life, breath, um, fingers, health, anything, you, even if you don't have, um, fingers, you have, you can breathe. There's certain things that you can look at that can, bring you joy that can bring you more in your life so today is not just about food it's part of it because we have we have a feast it's okay to have feasts with your family and stuff like that um but it's about gratitude being thanks um thanks in giving thanksgiving so you have thanks and you also give to god go give some to the homeless when you're making all of that food People that don't have their moms or dads to even cook for them. Think about them. People in the prison, send them a note or tell them something that's positive. People that's down and out, send them things. People that you have had um, interactions with and y'all are still, you still hold them dear in your heart. Like today, um, I know a family that I was close to, somebody's sister and mother, and I sent them a note letting them know, like, I was, hey, I still love you. Like, it never changed with them, but I don't want to be like I'm being too pushy or too much. But a simple um, thinking of you and miss you and stuff like that and letting people know that they're love, that's, um, that's okay. That's good. That will help you in the long run. That doesn't mean that you're trying to be a certain way. You're too weak. A lot of people think it's lame to do those certain things. I don't understand. How is that? It's weak to always try to be too hard and tough. Always speak with your 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 heart. Sometimes my heart leads me into things I don't want to be led into. 
you can like let me tell y'all this story um <clears throat> a person i already talked about in this video before i stopped talking to them i was okay doing what i have to do and then all of a sudden my mind just goes back to that person i don't know if it's god trying to t to pray for them or to do anything but it just like you can't stop what you were thankful for or what you love or who you loved and who you were thankful thankful for don't be afraid to tell people that you love them it's people that's passing away and they can't tell those people anymore that they love them or they know they was fighting for small things and they had a bigger relationship if you have a mom and you're arguing with her some people have lost their mom i have a friend that lost their mom a lot of friends that lost their dads moms and stuff like that their brothers and sisters and they were fighting or arguing over stupid stuff that didn't really even matter and they know those people always had their back or those people never stared them wrong they always lift them up so I always try to forgive people for doing certain things because if you know it's not them that's doing it or even if they do something, try to forgive them if, if they hurt you to a point where they took a part of you out, they made you feel a certain way that's not you, then you could just, you know, back up but still forgive those people because a lot of people, like I say, is always hurting out here. Today is the time to give thanks to God, to life. He put our family and our life, even if some of them backstab, some of them are going through certain things. I don't mean to be no, no wimp or nothing like that. No, trust me. I don't let nobody just put their hands and stuff and just talk to me in kind of what any kind of way. But I'm gonna try to make the the situation a little better than it is. Ego can get you a lot of places that you don't want it to be, and you look you left in a place where people think that okay this wait this video is not only going to be about thanksgiving so i'm just going to talk and let it continue to flow so people are not going to just always you know seem fun to you or do understand how you are or know what you went through so you met certain people at, at certain points of your life you could have been abandoned, you could have been abused, you could have been all of those things in the way you act and how you react to things is the reason why you are the way you are. Now, Summer Walker, I seen that a lot of people was talking about her anxiety. Now, me and my um, sisters and brothers used to go places and we would put our head down, just like, just put our head down. And... I did that a lot just walking in the classroom when I was younger. Got to walk in front of a lot of people. I put my head down. I had to learn. Somebody taught me. Uh, I remember I forgot who it was. Like, keep your head up. Never put your head down. You're a queen. So after that, I just started to, to, to do that. Just put my head up and just walk. I still have anxiety. Just feel everything come to my head. Like, oh, my God, they probably looking at my. This is anxiety. It just starts. You just start thinking about stuff. Oh, my God, they're probably looking at my pants. Oh, my God, I didn't earn. I wonder if I didn't look down. A whole lot of thoughts coming in your head at once. And then somebody talking to you, hey, what's your name? And you're not really focused. You're still talking to you. Oh, my gosh, I really, I wonder if this is going on with my hair. Oh, I wonder, they probably saying, like, who is she? Or they probably wonder how I am. I wonder how they going to be. Man, but nobody better not try me because I'm going to fight. I don't care. Like, you think about all that stuff and people looking at you like, what is wrong with her? You just walking. But you really talking to yourself in your head. Well, when I did have it down. Or even if you have it up, you just talking, looking funny because you have uh, social anxiety. You don't really be. you probably been around your family most of most part or your family and friends. you probably never been to a lot of social gatherings and if you continue to do that it's going to happen more frequently so i understand where she was coming for from so um i know she's thankful for the fans i know she's thankful for the opportunity and but y'all have to understand she all she had that problem for a long time it's not her fault she can't just 
stop it just because y'all want to. Because if that was the case, she would have stopped it for herself a long time ago. So y'all kind of got to work with her. That's what y'all have to get into. If you know that you don't, if that's what you're going to have to go through now that you know, then don't come like she said. You don't have to support her. She was known. Yeah, she started singing. She blew up. She didn't ask to blow up. She was just putting her music out. Yeah, she went on tours and stuff, but she didn't. She tried to probably come out her comfort zone. You know, when you're so comfortable in your comfort zone, but I'm just staying in the house today because I don't got time for nobody. You already planning. You already thinking the worst. I'm not getting on that train because the other time that train flipped over and I'm not, I'm just going to stay in the house. Like it's a lot of things and thoughts that keep you bun, bound, um, bonded, uh, and it, you don't have to. Because how I got out of it, like I said, I started to lift my head up more. I started to fight those thoughts. And somebody be like, oh, she looking, they trying to, you're going to have to beat their butt, like show them, like you ain't got nothing to play with. You have to fight those thoughts. No, they not even thinking that. They probably like, I'm about to go talk to her or something like that or just chill. We don't even know what she's like we because, first of all, it's like you fighting yourself. And... You ever hear they say you have you battle yourself sometimes. Sometimes thoughts come like a lot of people have a little bit of it. Some people have this much. Some people have that much. Some people have this much. Some people, woo. And they try to call it different names at a certain times. Because even when you're angry in your head, you already making assumptions about other people that's probably not even true. And they probably like, um, blase, blase, just talking, you'd be like, oh, so that's how she really fight, fight, um, feel about me. So that means she been wanting to fight me. She didn't say she been wanting to fight you. You just said that. So it's just, just like that. It's like you're fighting with yourself. And sometimes that's what anxiety can be also. And it's different levels. But that's what I was facing at times because once you're young and you already hear a lot of people saying something, like, um, Say if somebody called me like, oh, you got a flat face, flat nose or whatever, like that pizza face. And then once you get in front of a whole crowd and you've been hearing all of that stuff and you're walking, you're just like, oh, they probably like, now you're just thinking everybody looking at your face, everybody looking at your nose. People talked about how you walk, if you pigeon toe, bow leg, and you thinking that's what people laughing at. They probably not even laughing at you. It's just all what people say when you're younger. That's why it's so important for parents to always install in their kids and always let them know this type of type of information because they're going to grow up one day and it can affect the way they communicate with other people. Now, people saying that she used to dance or whatever. Like I said, she she probably went with her friends and family, about 15, 20 people, then went to a, a club and danced there. And it probably was like 50 people where she probably had to get the hang of drink something. Because sometimes when you drink, some people with anxiety, depression, or um, all of those different labels that they um, make out there, sometimes people drink so it can calm that down. And it seems like now you're in control and everything is quiet. You have more of a quiet mind so maybe that's what will happen and then she all of a sudden started a business and just blew up after that into the music industry so now a lot of people like her songs. now she about to just she, she started going on tours and then she got a award she had to go on stage with a lot of celebrities because people say oh I'm not this is a celebrity but sometimes when they go like oh wow like they look at them like Oh, this is how they look. This I'm by them. I usually see them. A lot of people like them. You don't have to be like, oh, but I'm saying. She got to go on stage with all of those people. Now, think of you had to go on there. Now, if I got scared in the classroom and put my head down, just think if she had to walk across the stage with a lot of people, she already was like, yeah, she used to dance. She had to get used to that, comfortable at different stages, like I said. So this will, if she continue to do it, it will help her. It will be okay, like, me, I was scared to talk on camera. If you go back to one of my videos, I was stuttering. I was saying a lot of stuff. I was, uh, yeah, rocking and stuff and saying a lot of things that didn't make sense. And talking to people just made me uncomfortable. 
But now when I talk to people, it's like I'm in control. I can say what I want to without feeling a certain way or without them thinking something. Like, think what you want now. But you have to get to that point or not even somebody talking about you because sometimes that's not even it. Sometimes it's just you been around a lot of people, just around energy. Um, like she said, she can feel people's energy. That's true. Remember being around this little girl, I could just see she's sad. I was like, what's wrong? And then people looking like, what is she talking about? But the girl ended up being sad. Or I can just go up to somebody and be like, you okay? Everything going to be okay today. That's why people like, some people so positive, but it's not positivity. It's just you come, somebody coming up to you and just start crying. Somebody's going to hug them. But I see that inside without them even crying or feeling the same way. You already can see that sometimes. And sometimes you see and you just want to step away because some of those times the people are mad at everybody. That means they'll come at you too. And and they will feel like you're coming against them. So sometimes you have to, you can't just walk up to everybody. So sometimes if you think like, well, I be going through stuff. Why you people don't be coming up to me? Why you don't be coming up to me when I feel? It's because they can feel your energy as in like you mad at everybody. So one little thing, you just going to go off. Just everything just making you mad. Oh, who touched my apple juice? Who ate my cat? Who, who put this on the foot? Like, just stuff like that. So sometimes people can feel it, but they just try to stay away because they know your energy and you're thinking that people are really trying to go against you, but it's how you're feeling inside. So, yeah. Um, I think she's thankful also for that since we're at this Thanksgiving because she – Show her gratitude, but people think that she's just supposed to, oh, like all the time. She said thank you. She says thank you. She um told y'all why she was late. Y'all still talking about her. I know y'all talk about different people, even with uh, 21 Savage. Y'all was trying to talk about him because he was from a different place. Everybody want to sing his song, say this and that. But then when he was born somewhere else, but raised in Atlanta, y'all had something to say about that, make him... Um, why he was detained at that. He could have been gone. And y'all sitting here talking about him. Like, a lot of y'all think y'all don't, stuff don't stink. Y'all think y'all the stuff, but really y'all, a lot of y'all think y'all, just because y'all face, y'all look too beautiful to be ugly. Your heart is ugly, you are ugly. Nobody not going to care about your face after that if you're talking about people. So me... I always try to find it, even if you feel a certain way. Like, like sometimes I have an energy where I can feel that person. If I go up to that person, it's going to start an argument. We're going to fight. So I try to go and talk to somebody. Yeah, I feel this way and this way about this person. What should I do? Because I, I know if I go up to them and talk to them, it's going to be a problem. So I'm talking to you that I trust about it so you can tell me. But sometimes you can't even do that because those people will make it seem like you're talking about them and go be like, Hey, so-and-so said this, but really you're just trying to find advice because that energy you're feeling. So you got to be careful sometimes with that. You got to get into, like I said before, like the wax on, wax off, karate kid. You have to feel, you have to try to master your, I guess, I don't know if you want to call it power everything because everybody have their different gifts and powers. You just have to know it sometimes it dies down because you're doing so much regular stuff in the world so that they try to put you in a matrix but you have to come out of that matrix i got that from infinite water um and shout out let me tell y'all a couple people um infinite water and um trennis henderson and love conquers and also sparkle marie those are some YouTube videos that I'll be looking at. So I'm shouting them out for y'all to go follow them. Trendis Henderson, Infinite Waters, um, Sparkle Marie, and Love Conquers. Y'all go follow them. So, <laughs> yeah, that's why I got that from, though, But about the matrix. He said, you know, some people who are not awake, they are in a matrix. And that is true if you ever watch the matrix. And But you have to, when you're awake, you get yourself out and you're starting to be awake. People think you're crazy. You have so much love that um, you want to share with people. They think you're so wacky or 
something like that. But one day, sometimes they want your love. Sometimes they don't when it benefits them, but they don't want it all the time. But, you know, try. If they try you, though, you be like the Avengers or. Sorry, I just cake. Mm. But you can be like the Avengers. That's so soft. You can be like the Avengers or um, Avatar. What's the other one? I don't think it was Avatar with the um with the little um triangle on his forehead. How could I forget that? But y'all understand what I'm saying. We all have them. You just have to dig deep and be aligned. A lot of stuff have to do with love too. So, it's nothing wrong with love. You start to see your powers. A lot of people saying love spelled out backwards is evil. Well, God always do stuff first and then the devil always make it backwards. He always trying to be counterfeit. If you create money, if God made money and it also generated, and the devil would make um or not even money. If he makes a certain thing out of energy or whatever, the devil will try to make counterfeit of everything. Let's say if God made money, the devil will try to make the counterfeit money. You get what I'm saying? Look alike, but it's different. So love spelled different evil, of course. Everything that's backward is the devil. If you play a song backward, it's the devil. It's not with everything, now, because some people be like, oh, everything. So if I put this water right here and spell this out, it's something with a no. Some things, y'all, that's why I say you have to, you know, get in tune with yourself, research yourself, get connected with your highest source so you can see who you are, so you can start to become those things. So Summer Walker, I kind of, I'm, I'm kind of drawn to her. And also the baby too. I know he be <laughs> I know he be doing all that, y'all, but like he bring people together. He has something about him. Not because I'm like the looks and stuff and only that. He's a handsome person, but I'm saying that doesn't all matter. You can be handsome and not um be attractive, but it's the, the things that he do, his mind is very create, creative, and um, she is well. She also, like, is an empath where she has a lot of love. That first song that I heard by her, she was still in love with somebody and, and singing these songs, letting them know, like, she haven't been over them. She wasn't afraid to show her feelings. Some people be like, man, forget her. Look at this. She texted me and calling my mama and stuff. She texted my sister. Them talking about they love. But she was real about it. It's not like she just going to train you down, going to stalk you or anything. She really telling her feelings. That's real. When you can tell your feelings and not hide them and care what nobody think. What's fake is you have to hide it because of what people going to think. You, you saying it in your mind, man, I miss him, I love him, I love her, I miss her. But to other people, it's like, Psh, what are what are girls at? Man, forget him, I'm going to the club tonight, and I'm going to give me something. Like, just trying to play your feelings. But her love, like, she really spoke that she's not afraid to do that. And she's not afraid to give one person her love. And some people find that, like weak but trust me love is conquers all you just have to try it if you always saying love is fake but you always doing stuff that's not in love then it's not going to be real now what is walking in love i remember a scripture saying jesus was telling them i have come to add but not take away from the laws and they were just asking him about the laws and everything and he said I tell you the truth if you have you love God first that's number one love God first with all your heart all your soul number two what was it love your neighbor as yourself so you have to love yourself first and then love your neighbor and then you're able to love somebody else if you don't love yourself, if you've never been taught to love yourself 
or been shown how to love yourself or to do things for yourself. It's a lot of serving out here that sometimes we get too caught up where it's always do this for other people. But sometimes you have to be the one who pour in because you're empty and you can't pour anything. You're just giving all of everything away and not putting anything into yourself. And then you're able to pour out. But with love, he said, if you conquer that, if you walk in love, if you do all of those things, walking in love, you have completed the whole law. Which is, if you're loving somebody, so if I love somebody and I did something wrong to them and I didn't go apologize to them, that's not walking in love. Why is it so hard for me to go tell them I'm sorry because they got to say it first or, oh, they might go tell somebody I said it and they might, they might ignore me. That's another thing, rejection. People don't want to tell people their true feelings or how they feel because they're scared of rejection and other people judging them about how they feel, about their feelings. So once you don't care about how other people feel, if you love somebody and you show people, they might say you crazy, push push it away and know that you was real about your feelings. You're not going to try to stalk them, uh, stalk them. You're not trying to hunt out their house. You're not trying to, oh, you're still living your life and something better might come along where your wife may come or your husband may come. That person is not your life. So if you love somebody, you're not going to steal. Your neighbor is the people around you. If I'm walking and I have John right here beside me, that's my neighbor. Then when I go over there, Crystal by me, that's my neighbor. When I go over there, Paula by me, that's my neighbor. We all are neighbors. So if I go and steal from my brother, that's my neighbor. That's not walking in love. So you you just did everything on that list. You sin with everything. It don't matter if it's little. If you can't help nobody and know that they're helping when you have it that's not walking in love because it's not benefiting you and you feel like you feel like them asking is bad who are they gonna ask you scared that your sister and brothers are asking you for stuff your Family are asking you for stuff. People are asking you for stuff. Now, sometimes it do. People get kind of confused because, like I said, sometimes it feel like people are using you, but sometimes it's not. And sometimes you have to realize sometimes people do need help. I'm talking about this situation, and if you can, if your brother or sister come up to you ask for help, and then you be like, man, why they always asking for help? Why they doing? Where else are they gonna go? Who else are they gonna ask? Shouldn't they ask you? Mm, You got to think about that. So walking in love just, you got to show people love. There's people on here that just think they want to be bad and bougie or they want to be soft up. They want to be soft up with a lot of O's and everybody on them. For what? Why you want them on you for? Because you want that attention? Because you don't want rejection? Because you don't want commitment? You want to do what you want to do. You want to not be alone, feel alone because you feel alone from abandonment and rejection that you're not trying to get help on. So you try to get people around you so often you just want to be around people. And that's what I was trying to do, I think, with my friends. My um, I still I say friends because that's what I always say. But um friends, associate, whoever they want to call me. But I see that with them, like how you start to think about once you start to be by yourself and try to get yourself together, you start to remember all the fun times y'all had, mostly the fun times y'all had. And you don't want to really deal with that rejection that's trying to come and creep up and you have to deal with it where it's like, We have to deal with this inner child moment where 
your mom left you, your dad left you, or it felt like everybody left you. So you always jump into a relationship or being around a lot of people, having friends, different friends, or being like you just know everybody. You just dib and dab and everything because it's making you feel like you don't want to deal with that rejection. You don't want to deal with that abandonment. It's a lot of males out here that's doing females wrong only because they felt like they're being done wrong. They are really doing females wrong. Then they say they are the ones that's being left once a female leave. Well, leave like everybody else did. Leave like everybody else did. Or, oh, leave like my mama or daddy did. Oh, leave like my daddy and everybody did. I don't need no man anyway. I don't need, like, and then that's what the man think. He don't say, I don't need no woman anyway. Or, well, they kind of do. I don't need no beat. I don't need no, tell me, it's bros over O's. Stuff like that. And both of them are really just struggling. So once you're by yourself and learning how to be by yourself, you can love yourself more. Because people say, I love myself. You love yourself to a point what you know about. It's deeper than that. Only if we knew how wide, how deep, how high, and how um, the depth of God's love. We can't even imagine how long. We can't even, if you can put the equator, you know, the equator around the um, world is not even for us to even try to measure. People can me- try to measure the equator or stuff like that. Or, um, yeah, the equator of the world. People can't try to measure that, but you cannot measure how much God love God is. So once you try to find yourself and God give you that love, that's how you love yourself because you're in his image. So once you see his image, you see yourself, that's how you are. And you start to love yourself more. You start to know who you are and you start to become a better you and move on from the toxic relationships. You could try to hold on to somebody so long and I think that's what Summer Walker I think she still is progressing she don't know everything people want her to be like she said just floating in even Beyonce mess up even Beyonce cry she cried a few times on there and just wiped it off and stuff and got back to it sometimes all of this stuff gets you into a lion you see the male lion the female lion that's how we are sometimes it gets you to that point where sometimes you've been through certain things and it gets you to a point and you're going to be so grateful that you've been through those things and you're going to be like that's why i went through it and i'm so happy i did because look where i'm at now and you'll be a better you you'll be a stronger you you'll be a loving you you'll love yourself and then you can love a man right you can love a woman right because i said both because a lot of people always think a man just supposed to do everything when that's not the case we have to love men too we gotta rub their backs just like they rub our backs or our feet oh that's now nah, i ain't rubbing on the feet oh for real but you want him to rub your feet well i ain't rubbing on your feet they probably think the same thing you walk too just like them what makes a man different a man's supposed to be labeled as nasty or always uh supposed to be the strong one it's both supposed to hold each other up they are they both are one so they have both have to hold each other up um another thing a lot of people can get into your relationship about y'all you always wanting them to be in you know looking at other people with their relationship i don't know how we jumping on this y'all but we're just gonna keep going and just chit chat i guess for real talk thursday but Certain people can get into your relationship, start saying little certain things, one little thing. Um, she got four kids. Um, you need to get that girl over there. She ain't got no kids. She got money. Or she got one kid. It's like, she got four. But they really have this connection. They Both of them only know. So they start to act different. They start to push away because now they feel that judgment what people were doing or it can be a man with who in his past he had like six five kids but he take care of them he do what he's supposed to do he or it's a certain situation where some people move their kids far away and they can't see their kids and it's they the other spouse move far away and just 
use that kid as a pun. Try to lock them up all the time. Try to, like, certain stuff I've seen for myself. And sometimes people can tell you, like, he is no good. You don't need him. You can go get somebody else around the corner. Steve is a good one. He working and he ain't got no kid. He, come on now. Why would you keep any knuckle? Like, you don't even know him. You speaking off just materialistic things for my life. When I do get in a relationship with Steve, Steve going to be beating the heck out of me, think he better than me, and he can tell me what to do. No. People got to keep their, like, stand their ground when it comes to somebody that they love or they like. Like, no, we not, it's not even no conversation. I didn't even, I don't even want to ask you nothing. Like, yeah, don't even put your input in. I don't want to hear none of that negative stuff. Oh, oh, okay, all right. See, I'm just trying to tell. Like, they get mad after that because they can't control you. You have to learn how to wake up and try to do things on your own and not let people try to tell you what to do. Now, if sometimes it's just time to go. Sometimes people not even in your life for... A relationship like that. Sometimes it's just supposed to be a friendship. Good friendship. None of that friends with benefits. None of that. Like a faithful one where you. Where a man can be around your husband. And that you can. They can trust you and their wife. Like they have a couple. We have a couple. We can trust each other. We can go places with each other. Sometimes it's supposed to be like that. I don't know if. Some people don't like exes being friends. Like, oh, this is my best friend, but I used to date. Some people like that. Some people will do that. Like, I see stories like that. I think we should just be friends. We found out that it's better if we be friends because we have more of a friendship than a, a, you know, romantic relationship. Because once we get to that stage, and so it's like something just explodes when our souls get tied up, as in when you have sex with each other it's like it explodes or something your feelings just um you start thinking stuff oh no you're probably doing this or or just just other stuff in your mind that happened before if you're not healed especially that's what it is it starts to activate and you start to think like man what's going on is they doing something or they probably gonna leave me like my daddy did or they gonna leave me like my um friends did or like everybody else did like stuff like that so those things are very triggering to a lot of things that we go through i'm just talking now y'all so probably about the end of this video 37 minutes i hope y'all look at this video i'm talking about a lot of stuff in here Thanksgiving, we done talked about Summer Walker. We done talked about relationship. We done talked about love. What else? That's it. Miss Kate. Shout out to you, mama. <laughs> for making this cake. But, y'all, for real. And we done talked about both of the... About the... Sex, knowing us... Same thing. Some women don't like having gifts. Some women do. Some men don't like gifts, but some men do. So don't just look at the gender. Don't just look at the color. Learn your your spouse. Learn your partner. And a lot of this stuff that I tried to do in my marriage, but can't do it by yourself. Now, I think if I would have kept on learning things and kept on working on myself instead of getting in so early, especially you don't get married if you're not in love. Now, it wasn't because of money, because I was paying a lot of stuff out of my pocket by myself. And when he got his own money, he wasn't... Um, you're just being stingy, but... Okay, y'all. My phone had died, so I'm just going to end it right there. That means that was it. So, I'm going to see y'all on the next Real Talk Thursday or sooner than that. And, yeah, I'll get back to y'all real soon. I hope y'all have a good day. Um, 
yeah that's about it so see y'all soon make sure y'all hit that subscribe button if y'all are new make sure that you like and comment and share tell me what you how you feel about this stuff about the summer walker about the relationships anything that you want to talk about let me know and y'all hit me back up and it's your girl the creative mind of brie heaven made game and creative mind i'll see y'all soon yeah